Before you install the port itself, you want to put one of your corner 45s into the corner there at the port because you won't be able to reach it after you put the port in. If you watch my videos, you know I'm not a big fan of corner 45s, but if you already have them, why not use them? It's not going to hurt anything. What I usually do is tack these in with a brad nail, but kind of the point of the video is to show you that you can use a flat pack to build your own box without a lot of tools, so I can't really grab my brad nailer and do that. You could screw these in or you could hold them in with a clamp until the glue sets up. But I've got a hack for you. At 60 degrees Fahrenheit, wood glue will hold in about 30 minutes and then fully cure in about 24 hours. So on a cool day, you could just clamp these in place and go get a sandwich. But it was 88 degrees when I filmed this. And at that temperature, you can just slather on some glue and hold it in place for a few minutes. Moving on to the port, make sure you glue up all of the surfaces before you screw the port to the baffle. Now you reach a point where you've got to make a decision. You've got to find a way to affix the port to the rest of the enclosure. Now you could flip it over and drive in some screws, but there aren't any pre-drilled screw holes on the underneath. 